it is finally filming day and i am so glad i no longer have to contain my excitement i've been waiting for this one turn it up so first we want to start off with a nice cleanly face so we're going to wash our face you see i was just about to open the camera app to record this and be like yes girl go wash your dirty face and then i look and i've got this badonkus on my face wait hold up oh my god don't people refer ass wait don't people call badonkus like an ass like it i don't have an ass on my wait it could qualify as an ass it, it that bitch the size of a booty cheek bruh and it mm -hmm, it bothers me because it's unready to pop So let's just take a moment to look at how I glow. Oh, she's so beautiful. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Glow, glow. Pretty, pretty. Mm, okay, she's so, so I pretty and glowy. I wonder what face wash she's here. using. It's Burt Bee's acne yeah. cleanser. I think you know. Where is this about to go? Okay, so you know me, just like queen of buying cheap shit off of AliExpress. This was literally six dollars. <laughs> but it took all of quarantine to get here, so. So it can look more satisfying. Ooh, crinkle, crinkle, ASMR. Two, three, four. Okay. Um. Cute, cute. Okay. <laughs> it reminds me of like a squid or something. Okay. I'm guessing this is like a little spooly. Mm, it's not. Okay. Oh, interesting. I have no idea what these are. Like that? Who? Here's the blue. Okay, so it was like so sunny out. I mean, it was so sunny outside, and now like all of a sudden it's really dark. Okay, so first thing you want to figure out is the lift slash the, the pads you want to use. Okay, I'm gonna go with the sm the size small, even though I like to think my eyelashes are pretty long. But I was putting on just like measuring it, and then putting my lashes like up to see how they would stick on there, and it seems like they stick on there like like the exact fit even though I think I think they're pretty long but I mean I guess not and then if I choose a size like extra small it's like way too like it's mm -mm, it's not gonna work out so the instructions in my thing say to just put this on and then glue the lashes onto the thing but on the YouTube videos I've seen they put the glue on here and then stick it onto their um to their eyelid so I'm gonna see how that works currently gluing it to my eye um it's not like stinging or burning or anything so <laughs> that's a good sign right <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna yeah okay good and now i'm gonna you know paste them on there right you see this a pad i put it on my eye ipad ah don't leave me don't leave me don't leave me take me with you <laughs> okay not gonna lie it's kind of starting to hurt now just because it's like pulling so much on my lashes time for perming solution oh my gosh this smells like a straight up ass it smells like nair you know nair hair removal cream it smells like that and it says you put it on for 8 to 12 minutes i wasn't sure if it's supposed to be like a thin layer or what it's supposed to look like so i did kind of like a pretty thick layer The 
directions of this thing are pretty confusing. It says, so number six was the fixing agent, the blue stuff, and then number step number seven, it says, clean the eyelash lift pads, then use number three, nutrition, that's my timer. Number three, nutrition lotion to nourish eyelash. And then it says number eight is use number four, the sun, to clean off the perm residue. So do I use this before the nutrition to get all this stuff off first? Because wouldn't that make sense? I use this to get all this gunk off and then use this to nourish my lashes once everything's done. So I don't know. Um... <laughs> okay, I just, um, I just ripped it off, and your girl looks like Jack Frost, um, so now I'm going to use the cleaner. I guess that's what it meant. Do you know what I was literally about to go do until I remembered some girl's YouTube video that I watched a long time ago? I was just about to say, F this cleaner, it's literally not working like so sticky and gunky and ill so i was gonna say f it and go put vaseline on and wash it you know put in water on it and then i remember this one girl was like you're not supposed to get them wet for the next 24 hours so i just have gunky eyelashes it's not like i'm going anywhere tomorrow this is what they would actually look like if ooh, hold up girl focus this is what they would actually look like if i were to if I were to curl them, like, they would kind of just look like that, but I wanted them to, you know, to look like this. Literally, literally like this. So, I'm thinking, on this eye, I'm gonna use the extra small ones. Okay, my tips for gluing is don't do it randomly, start in sections. Put a little glue here, and then fold them up. This side of my lashes is like still pretty sticky and since they're not as curly as I want them to be I'm going to just kind of like keep brushing them up against my eyelid to try like, and make them curly and then on this side when I put on the blue liquid I doubled the amount of time so like about 20 minutes because what I'm thinking is is why these didn't come out as curly is because I honestly think I needed more time with the step one the perm solution so now I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna rub it off because what I did last time was I was like wait do I put it on on top of this like the instructions are really that clear so I'm gonna rub this off and then leave the nourishment oil on for like five minutes okay now these are the results I wanted okay turn it up we'll come back tomorrow when I feel like fully like safe enough to remove like all the gun to see what they look like Okay, so I finally showered after a little bit more than 24 hours, and this is what they look like. So, I think I'm going to go for round two. Let's hope I don't, um incinerate my eyelashes off imagine I do this to end up with pretty lashes and then I end up with no lashes so let's hope they don't fall off round two. Oh, there goes an eyelash make a wish <sighs> okay so I'm going to curl them before I stick them onto the eyelash pad because I think this is gonna help okay so this is what my eyelashes look like when they're curled and this is basically how I want them to end up looking, you know? So that way when I come out the shower, I don't have to curl them because I just find curling them really annoying, so. Okay, so I, ooh, is that copyright? <laughs> the pad was like literally tugging on my eyeball, so I just had to yank that. Oh my God, it's like red and stuff. Like, I don't know, it was hurting really bad. And I'm only on step one on this eye. I'm going to try to put on step two like just like this like without using the pad okay so hopefully this doesn't cause my eyelashes to turn out wonky 
And then we're gonna wait another 24 hours to take a shower and see how it works. So, I honestly, I couldn't wait, oh, like, an exact 24 hours to get them wet, just cause, like, I don't know, I saw them looking a little crinkly, I don't know. Like, these ones on this side look like they've been, like, electrocuted or something, cause they, like, they're, like, a little crinkly. I don't know if you can see it, cause this camera isn't that good, but I am... Focus, focus, okay. I am happy with the final results. Uh, um, in conclusion, <sighs> if you're gonna use this six dollar eyelash kit, eyelash lift kit, um, expect that it's gonna take like three months to get here. Two, um, you use it for like the standard 20 minutes on your eyes, especially if you have thick lashes. This is if you have thick lashes, okay? I'm not talking about them skinny little white girl lashes. Yeah, that's pretty much just like double the time and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.